Well, my name's Clay. I had a very difficult experience in high school. Like, I was very stressed out and angry all the time and very depressed. So my way of dealing with this was to start doing drugs. Students today are having problems not only academically but interpersonally, which escalates into problems such as violence and drug use. I mean, I was buying drugs at school and doing drugs at school. I would go to school drunk. Uh, and like my entire senior year, I went to school high every day. When kids are asked about how do people in society deal with stress, what most of them say is alcohol, drugs, um, overeating, violence, things like that. You know, they're very aware that that's how most people deal with stress, so that's in, in effect what they, what they do themselves. Even just being in a household with domestic violence and stuff, so my kind of way of dealing with all those things was drugs. What we do in the Youth Empowerment Seminar is to give a positive, I guess you could say healthy method of dealing with stress. By taking this program, uh, I, I felt like I was automatically relieved of having to ever do drugs again. You can give them a tool that they can cut through that bondage, in a sense. Then you're giving them what they want. You're giving them what they really want on a deeper level, which is to be free. I feel very grounded in, you know, knowing who I am now. And I feel like I'm better, like, able to deal with my emotions. If they come up, I'm able to, you know, transform them into some more positive. Hi, my name is Jackie, and this is my son Cole. Cole was hurt on July 13th, 2003. He was coming home from a party and somebody followed him and wanted to rob him and attacked him and um, hit him in the head with a racer scooter. Uh, it's taken us a long time to get Cole to where he is. No, like you told, like, um, hmm. stress is at the root of a lot of problems that we see. It leads to problems such as anxiety, depression, um, even suicide, and antisocial behavior such as violence. The person that hurt Cole was 17 years old, and there was nothing to guide him and, and to nurture him. I've watched a lot of students that are typically known as students that are always angry all the time or, or just have, you know, where many people perceive them as anger issues to where they're more relaxed and more, they approach their stress differently. I used to be ready to fight, but now like, it feels much easier to just relax and come down and just, just look at them and laugh, walk away. It helped me like when, um, like when the teacher says something to me and I don't like it, instead of saying something back and getting in trouble, I use that technique so I won't get in trouble. So now that I'm teaching this YES program, uh, after having gone through all my experiences that I went through in high school. Like it really means a lot to me to give something like this to these kids that I think they so desperately need. And I often wonder if the person that hurt Cole 
would have received the help that we are seeking to provide to other kids if this might have not happened.